That's the spirit, Lu Shun. Right now, my heart is... Burning! Brightly! Like a raging inferno! Hey, Ding Feng, stop stealing my lines! What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the series where we are counting down the characters in Dynasty Warriors and analyzing how they've changed from each installment. We continue our list with number 82 here, the ugly stepsister known as Ding Fong. Hey, how's it going? No, but seriously, the resemblance is uncanny. So Ding Fong is number 82 on our list. As we take a look at the rankings, on the first popularity poll, he receives 153 votes out of a total of 75,000, putting him at the 82nd spot. In the second poll, he ranked in at 79th, and then for my personal rankings, he ranks at 77th. Not a super appealing look Ding Fong has compared to some of the other characters in the game. Now, Ding Fong has been in the game since Dynasty Warriors 2 and was made a playable character in Dynasty Warriors in the seventh installment. So he hasn't had a huge history within the game itself besides being an NPC. So in Dynasty Warriors 7, he finally becomes a playable character. The developers wanted a veteran general for Wu's later years. Ding Fong was added to the playable cast from head to toe. He was designed to be the super muscular character to make him a contrast to other power characters. And this is why I mentioned that he's kind of not appealing versus some of the more popular characters in the series. His hobby of peaceful poetry was also added to his character and it's very obvious for this love of poetry as in most of his lines and most of the time he speaks it is in a poem-like rhythm. So Ding Fang looks and speaks with the voice of a terrifying giant often scaring people who he meets with this tall, frightening appearance. In actuality, he appreciates peaceful landscapes and is a natural poet. He speaks kindly of allies and doesn't actively seek to make enemies. Loving his scenic lands and the trust he has gained in Wu's army, Ding Fong participates in war to protect them. He's kind of like the Iron Giant of Dynasty Warriors, except he does poetry as well. He is famed as a brave warrior and skilled strategist. He is posthumously celebrated as one of the five veterans of Wu, and he's credited as the person who kills Zhang Liao. Now, in Dynasty Warriors 7, there's a cutscene where Zhang Liao jumps from a rock or a cliff, and he jumps down to where Sun Quan, Ding Fang, and Lian Shur is. And what happens is they both block his attack, and then Sun Quan kills him. It is hard to believe. You're the same man who fled at Hefei. I am a coward, really. Without strong hands to support me, I am always ready to flee. I thought this was man to man. I am a ruler, Zhang Liao. Hmm, I see. Well, I am a warrior. I cannot simply withdraw! This is how I fight. Excellent. So I don't know if that's what they wanted to depict in Dynasty Warriors 7. Honestly, in Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8, you don't really get a lot of playtime with him. Honestly, in Dynasty Warriors 7, there's literally barely any cutscenes with him in it besides that one and like the cameo at the end where, you know, Wu's celebrating the end of their story or whatever. But that's pretty much it. You can only play with him if you unlock him in the legendary battles. And then for Dynasty Warriors 8, I think you get to play with him maybe once or twice as one of the selections for the Wu story. But there wasn't a lot of content around Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8, just a few cutscenes and uh, maybe a battle or two in Dynasty Warriors 8. But Dynasty Warriors 9 is really where Ding Feng, you really get a hold of him because he has his own story. If I knew what I knew about Ding Feng before I did the rankings, he would have been a lot higher on my list because one, I really like his style with the gauntlets. So he has two different weapons. He goes from the gauntlets in Dynasty Warriors 7 to the Vada Chakra in Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires and Dynasty Warriors 8. And he goes back to the gauntlets in Dynasty Warriors 9. I really like 
his gauntlet style because it's just really cool to be grappling people and you know grabbing them throwing them around it's just a really fun play style the other reason why he would have been higher in my list is because uh, his cutscenes at the end of Dynasty Warriors 9 was amazing like it was awesome like he has one of the best endings in Dynasty Warriors 9 that I've seen so far and after seeing that and playing through with him it was he's definitely a lot higher than I thought he was going to be but this was just going off of you know my knowledge of of Ding Fong himself and of course playing with him in general I just he's not one of the characters that I would normally pick to play as so now you know who Ding Fong pretty much is we went over his weapon styles it didn't change very much because again he only was part of the last three installments and he you know you don't, you don't really get a lot of play time with this character so there's not a lot of in-depth analysis for this character Ding Fong's story really gets expanded in Dynasty Warriors 9 but even though he served the Wu Kingdom for over 70 years his story did not actually seem that long playing through Cheng Pu's story seemed a lot longer than Ding Fong and for some reason you know Ding Fong was a lot shorter and there was no point in his story even though he's credited with the kill of Zhang Liao like I mentioned before in Dynasty Warriors 9 there's no cutscene or you know any sort of recognition for that in his story for Dynasty Warriors 9 so again he's more of a side character that's probably why he didn't do that's probably why he didn't do too well in the polls because again the polls were taken back in 2017 back when Dynasty Warriors 8 or after Dynasty Warriors 8 was released so again like I said Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8 he did not have a lot of play time as a character so people didn't really get a chance to really play him if they did it was very very short and like I said in Dynasty Warriors 8 you have the chance to select like one of three or one of four officers to play through the level and I don't think Ding Fong got selected for most of them but I think his character development was a lot better in the latest installment but unfortunately because I did not know and I wasn't aware of these abilities he has prior to this list he unfortunately falls at number 82 the only thing we haven't mentioned with Ding Fong yet is his voice acting which I believe changed from uh, he had the same one in Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8 and then in Dynasty Warriors 9 and I, and I believe in one of the spin-offs he has a couple different ones but he pretty much has the same voice even though it's played by two different people he relatively sounds the same. It wouldn't throw you off when you hear the, the differences in his voice acting. He sounds pretty much the same and it fits him just fine. No complaints on the voice acting side. But other than that guys, I don't really have much else for Ding Fong here. Like I said, very little content to play with, very little analysis to do here because he doesn't really have much of a showing within the series itself. Maybe in the later installments if they continue to make the game, he'll have more and more time to shine but his story wasn't really developed until the latest installments. Not a lot of content here to do. He's almost like a new character in a sense because of how little his content was in the first two games that he was in, but this is all I have for Ding Fong. I hope this was a little bit entertaining. I hope you guys learned something or enjoyed it. If you did, I definitely appreciate a like, comment, or subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about Ding Fong, if you played through him or if you know anything about him. But uh, other than that, guys, I'm gonna let his Dynasty Warriors 9 ending play. I'm also going to link down all of the cutscenes and endings that he is involved in in the Dynasty Warriors series. It's not a very long video because, again, he's not involved in a lot of things except for like cameos and stuff like that. But it's down there for anyone who is a Ding Fong fan. But like I said, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video for number 81. See Ding Fong helped lead the Wu army to victory in the Battle of New Buffet Castle. However, Sun Quan gave the order to withdraw without taking Pefei. He was overjoyed that Wu had not suffered any harm. Ding Fong and many others had worked hard to protect Wu. Additionally, many lives had been lost to defend their beloved homeland. As such, Ding Fong was determined to continue fighting. All the while, he carried the thoughts of his friends within his heart. We must wipe out the enemy. Let us protect this beautiful place. My home. I will not let you steal them from me. I will protect Sun Wu if it costs me my life. Get out of here! Sun Wu is a beautiful.
beautiful place, isn't it? I inherited Ooh from my father and my brother. I need to protect it. Will you lend me your aid? <laughs> Who is a ship? Sailing on a river of chaos. It is carrying upon it all of our greatest hopes. I will never allow that ship to sink. I will protect that ship with my own two lethal hands! Yeah! 